Anna Skurbakova has not yet resumed full training for the season. This is reported by our sport with reference to a source familiar with the situation. The interlocutor of the agency believes that the performance of the Olympic champion at major competitions in 2023 is unlikely. It is noted that the 19-year-old figure skater put at least one new program. It is unknown whether it is a competition or demonstration program. In June, it was reported that Shkrbakova is thinking about returning to competition. But then it became known that she fell ill with mononucleosis. A month later, Shkrbakova began light training, but she has not yet been able to significantly increase her intensity. Anna Skurbakova, the 2022 Olympic champion, has been living an incredibly colorful life since the suspension of her competitive activities. She recently visited China as a special guest, and there are many other interesting activities ahead. Anya you visited China, a bright trip, for sure a lot of emotions, you are in awe of Chinese culture. Tell us, what emotions do you feel after the trip? China, I think, turned my brain a little bit when I arrived. It was my first trip to China after the Olympics, it had been a year and a half, and, of course, during that year and a half it was not yet possible to come because of the pandemic, including coronavirus restrictions. I still felt a huge support from the fans, they sent me an incredible amount of gifts from China, hundreds of kilograms of parcels. So I know that I have a lot of fans in China, but I couldn't even imagine this level of support. From the first seconds I arrived in China, I was greeted by my fans, and it was very touching, very nice, and the emotions were so high that it was like I didn't realize the reality of what was happening. I felt like a rock star on tour, as if all this was a little bit not with me and a little bit unreal. So it's really nice that our skaters are so loved and appreciated there. Is there any other country where you would like to live, maybe to study? In dreams in fantasies. I like traveling. I really like to be charged with new emotions and expand my horizons, you learn a lot of new things. But I probably wouldn't be able to go anywhere for a long time, because even if I go away for two or three weeks, I'm still drawn back home. I think it's more like learning and seeing something new, and after a while I want to come back home. What profession would you like to learn in the future, besides coaching? Naturally, I want to learn something else besides coaching. I have been actively thinking about what it will be for a year now. Last year I tried my hand at journalism, but I'm not sure yet that this is what I want to do. I'm not even sure if it will be a media profession, I don't know how much I will want to be in the media field all the time. I'm considering my options right now. I think I have at least a year to think about it. What are your upcoming plans? A lot of different events and activities, lots of invitations to places. There are a few more trips to China planned, so the next schedule is very busy. Weekends are not planned yet. Looking back on your sporting career. Is there anything you would change or advice you would give to yourself as an athlete? I think I'm a person who doesn't tend to make quick decisions. I always think everything through, weigh every decision, make it consciously. That's why during my career I never had the feeling that I was doing something wrong. But even if there were hard moments where I wanted to think about why it was like that, I want to do it differently, now, looking back, I can confidently say that absolutely everything that happened was beneficial, and it was the way my path was formed that led me to the achievements that I managed to win. Everything has gone well, I am satisfied with everything. The last question is related to the events that took place this week, the athlete disappeared for a whole day, probably because of a quarrel with her coach. Have you ever had such a situation that it was so hard that you wanted to finish, to give up everything? I can't comment on the situation with Alina, Gorbacheva, because I don't know the situation from the inside, what exactly happened there. But if I'm speaking for myself, have I ever been in similar situations, I think it's very important to be able to switch and not dwell on one thing, for example, figure skating and training. My family has always supported me, and it's always been very important to me that we come home and I don't have home coaches teaching me how to train again, but that this is a place where I can take a break, reboot, where I will always be supported. 
That probably helped me cope in tough situations like that. Anna Skurbakova said. The dance duo Vasilisa Kaganovskaya slash Valerie Angelopal has broken up. This is a strong and promising couple, which already this year could become a leader in the country, but the breakup itself will hardly surprise anyone. The guy's relationship has been on the rocks for a long time, and anyone who has followed their careers has been waiting for this outcome for a long time. What is surprising is another thing, the details that surfaced immediately after Kaganovskaya and Angelopal finally separated. Valery is a special person in Russian figure skating, but hardly anyone expected even him to demand that he sign a contract to reimburse his underage partner for all her expenses. What's going on anyway? When it seems that figure skating won't surprise you with anything else, it's worth opening the news feed. No sooner had we moved away from the story of Alina Gorbacheva's escape from coaches, than Vasilisa Kaganovskaya and Valery Angelopal burst into the chat room. The fact that they are unlikely to last together for at least another year, on the sidelines talked long ago. Constantly there were conflicts, which coach Angelika Krylova diplomatically resolved quickly, but could not completely stop. Still, when a 19-year-old boy and a 17-year-old girl skate together, it's always a powder keg. Especially if they have not only a working, but also a romantic relationship, interrupted on the initiative of one of the parties. Seeing a girl on the ice every day after that. With such a challenge not every adult can cope, what to say about yesterday's schoolboy, we realize that we are not suitable for each other. The initiative was not mine, admitted in a recent interview Angelo Paul. I think it was difficult for both of us, I did not ask Vasilisa. But it was very difficult for me, at first for sure. But then it kind of subsided. When it became clear what the black cat ran between them in midsummer, sources one after another reported on the likely breakup of the couple. In July, the conflict was extinguished, but, as it turned out, Valerie to the end could not forgive that his love was rejected. Even a new romance did not help, Angelo Paul posted a joint photo with figure skater Polina Usova, providing it with a pink quote about love. To Vasilisa, he began to make claims about her work in training, which earlier, apparently, hid. The extreme point was a certain contract, which Angelo Paul drew up for his partner and demanded to sign it. I have never taken the quarrel out of the hullabaloo, but now I will not keep silent, Vasilisa intriguingly began the post on social networks. Valerie said that he does not want to skate because he is not satisfied with the way I train. Told that I beat him, that I work badly, that I treat him terribly and so on. But we talked it over and were preparing for the control roles. But three days ago Valera brought a contract to the training and said that if I didn't sign it by September 1st, he wouldn't skate with me. The contract is that I have to take him on full security. Valera said that this was his condition, and this was the only way he would, stepping over himself, skate with me as a pair. Such a story is hard to believe but Vasilisa attached a photo of the contract drawn up by Valery, and a little later her words were confirmed by Krulov's coach. Valera began to say that he was ready to skate with Vasilisa on the terms of a written contract, in which certain financial conditions would be spelled out. This was completely unacceptable, and, of course, she did not want to sign anything, said Angelica Krilova.